guys. It's the first of March, which means it's time to rose in particular is Pope John Paul II and you see here we've got some dead and diseased canes that need to be removed. Always look for uh, anything dead, anything diseased, or anything damaged on your roses uh, and then we, we take our tools and we cut those things out first. So you'll see here I'm taking my loppers and removing uh, all of the dead canes that I see. We have some dieback uh, on our roses uh, occasionally and we want to remove all of that. It, it hinders the new growth. I'm also looking to remove any cane that is smaller than a number two pencil. It's not going to produce a, a sturdy cane or a, a very sturdy bloom so we want to take all of those out as well. And we just do some general cleanup uh, around the shrub uh, as you notice, uh, as I'm clipping and cutting, I'm also removing any of that debris from the garden bed, taking it out of the garden. Um, so this rose has a brand new start come spring. Now, with as we prune, sometimes you see uh, disease. You should see clear white like is seen here. And as we go over to the next cane, you'll see that there's some brown spots in that. We just continue to cut down until we see all white. That means that you've got a good healthy cane base there. Now we're going to continue to prune. Uh, this is a bed of Floribundas. It's actually uh, Moondance Floribunda, beautiful white rose uh, from Jackson and Perkins. And we take it down to about 24 inches tall and only leave three or four canes uh, every year to begin again with. Um, I'll just go through this very same process that I did on the hybrid tea, removing anything dead, anything diseased, or anything damaged, and then just sort of cleaning up and shaping as I go. You'll notice I'm wearing a good pair of gauntlet gloves. These are some uh, wonderful gloves that protect your hands and your arms when you reach into these prickly rose bushes. Now you'll see we've got that we're down to about three or four stalks on each cane of these roses. Um, now I'm, I'm cleaning up a shrub rose that we have uh, planted in a large container on our outdoor patio table and I just sort of follow the rim of the pot and cut it back and shape it up. Uh, this will um, allow for it to continue to fill in in the middle and when it blooms this spring it'll give us a, a very large uh, pretty display of blooms that are pretty much contained in the pot. Um, roses are a lot of fun to grow in containers especially when you can make them the centerpiece of a table uh, such as we've done here. Well, we're wrapping up. Uh, pruning roses is, is pretty simple. If you have any questions, be sure to email me at chris at redneckrosarian.com. Be glad to answer any of your pruning questions. Uh, visit our website, too, at uh, redneckrosarian.com. You can find us also on social media. Thank mm -hmm. you.